What's the matter with you, huh? Subscribe already. The characters you see in the background are from some of my upcoming titles, namely Bond of the Blade and the Spider Circle. And that is more important to state now than it's been for any of my other recent videos, because today is all about the indie scene. This basically is just a flex video and a victory lap video to the mad lad of all mad lads himself right now, Eric D. July, AKA Young Ripper 59, who is making waves and making history and pissing off a lot of people in the process simply by dropping something that a lot of people think looks dope. Oh, what's that response? Oh, let, let's take a look. Ripperverse.com, Eric July's official comic book company. The website, as well as the campaign for his first book, issue number one of ISOM, his lead character, that dropped this morning at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. At the time of recording this video, it is 8.30 p.m. So not even a whole 12 hours later. The campaign has crossed the $800,000 mark. 800k, six digits, and guess what? I couldn't be happier for him. I've been a fan of Eric's work for about three years now. Uh, I watched him a little bit more heavily back when he was still covering a lot of the uh, comic book and comic book related content more in depthly. Uh, he's put that stuff to bed for the most part, and he was very vocal about this for two reasons. First of all, he knew that they just weren't making stuff for him anymore. Not only were they not making things for fans like him, but they were actively making a lot of things that went against the fans, like call the fans out, chat on them. That plus the fact that he has decided it's time for me to throw my hat in the comic content creator ring, you know, basically said all the comic book cover and stuff, that's going to have to go on the back burner. And I respect that. I always say, if you hate this stuff so much, and you can't even bring yourself to watch it to give it an honest review or read it, then just leave it alone. Just walk away, you know? And more than that even, because we are in this current space of independent creator boom, and not just with comics either, but with video games, with short films, with animation, I'm so glad that I'm a part of that, and you guys are gonna start seeing a lot more of that come down the pipeline. Because if you like anything that you've seen in the background, you're about to see a lot more material with these folks in it. But getting back to Eric, I respect him as a creator. I respect him as a fellow nerd. I'm someone who takes things like this way more seriously than they should be. But that's okay. Because sometimes you can take that passion and turn it into not only your own creation, but you can also turn it into a successful business venture. And if $800,000 in under 12 hours isn't a successful business venture, nigga, I don't know what is, okay? This shit looks so good. And we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about what actually this is. Best believe I have ordered a copy of ISOM number one. I will be reading it and I will be reviewing it. I don't know if I can precisely call it unsigned hype because the man signed himself. And uh, <laughs> he is going to hit a million dollars before the campaign has even been up for 24 hours. But there will be a review of ISOM issue one. Real quick, I mean, there's not a whole lot of info out about it because the way Eric played this whole campaign, he's kept everything really close to the chest. We really didn't even know what the characters looked like until a couple, a few days ago. And he can afford to do that because he is a very business savvy person who's put several hundreds of thousands of dollars into this venture to ensure that it goes off without a hitch and that he has the best creative team and business team working with him to also make sure that this goes off without a hitch. And I think also because he does have a sizable audience from his YouTube and his time at places like The Blaze and Being Libertarian and all these different sources, basically he has a built-in audience ready to just dive in. And also he's verified with years and years of comic book and entertainment related content that he knows what he's talking about. He walks the walk. He's not one of these people who just gets in front of a camera and starts to pretend to have all these opinions and love characters just to get clicks and views, right? He actually is a dyed-in-the-wool nerd when it comes to this comic book shit. 
You know, whether you agree or disagree with any of his particular opinions on things, you can't say that he's just out here faking the funk. And because he's put in the work, because he's been a part of all these different scenes, now he's reaping the benefits. He's reaping the rewards. And I ain't got nothing but congratulations for this man for even making it this far. The first step is usually the hardest, and now you just fulfill. You endure, you fulfill, you continue to treat the customers right. You know, the website was acting all funky. I mean, it took me like 45 minutes to complete my order. But um, he did the right thing, and I was like, look, we ain't expect this much traffic. It's still not right that we putting y'all through all this, you know, to get these books. They ended up selling out of some of the, you know, limited edition covers. And they said, we were going to bring some of this stuff back as promotional stuff later on. But due to the, you know, everything getting sold out fast and people not being able to claim the orders due to the website's funkiness, we just going to release them now. So from now till Friday, y'all can get either one of these limited edition covers. That's what you call good customer service. That's what you call taking accountability. And that is only going to win him more favor with old and new fans. And, and don't get it twisted. He is making new fans with this venture. Okay, I've seen so many comments from people saying, you know, I usually don't even mess with comics like that. That's not my thing, but I'm checking it out. You know, this is my first time even buying a comic book. And I can't wait to, to dive into it. So for all the people who are like, oh, this is just for Eric's fans. People are just going to support him because they want to support some type of culture war stuff. No, okay. That is wrapped up in this, yes, and a lot of his initial Ripperverse video, not for ISOM, but just the Ripperverse Comics company video definitely spoke a lot towards that crowd in particular. I'm not a humongous, like, ooh, evil SJW's bad culture war person. I actually think that people who get too wrapped up in that side of things are extremely cringe themselves. Like, hardline culture warriors to me are just as bad as social justice warriors at this point. But that's not the energy the video had. But yes, I'm I'm really glad. I can't wait to read this. Uh, the whole creative team just sounds great. Um, just looking at this stuff is absolutely phenomenal. It looks great. Not groundbreaking necessarily. Not changing the wheel. But everything new doesn't have to change the wheel. It's solid, you know. I like the design of the characters. Isom's design is simple but effective. I like it. It's solid. Um, what I want to know is what are his powers? You know, I'm definitely thinking a because Eric July himself is an exercise and athlete nut. Plus some of the other things we see uh, from the pages that we have seen, like uh, Isom hitting the heavy bag in his downtime, as well as I don't see any evidence of like energy based powers. It looks like he more is just of a like a super superhuman performance capability kind of like in the realm of uh captain america or anyone who took the super soldier serum it gotta be something because don't matter how many leg days you hit you ain't kicking a grown ass adult across the room like it's a damn football and then you know the whole isom what's it short for isometric like isometric exercise that's where my mind is right now whether or not it could be something completely different i don't know yet because I ain't read the book yet, because it ain't been released yet. It's shipping in August, but can't wait to see that. All the congratulations in the world to Eric July and everybody associated with Ripperverse. I hope this continues, and I hope this remains artistic and a purely professional venture. I hope it doesn't get caught up in a lot of the culture war crap that ends up consuming so many great things and great projects that start. Inevitably, there's going to be some of it, because like I said, he's always been that type of person that is that, you know, very critical of the mainstream and far leftist elements in the culture. But it's more, from what I've seen, it's more of the stranglehold that they have on so many different areas. Offering up something that doesn't have that. It doesn't have to be, the, the answer to what is going on in the mainstream is not to have a right wing alternative. It's to have something that is free of all of it. You know, where if you do get real world political, it's something that can be still be enjoyed by anyone from either side and not just virtue signaling to your side. But I've rambled on enough. This is the Victory Lap video. Shout out to Eric July. Shout out to everyone at Ripperverse Comics. Shout out to everybody look, checking this out right now. Keep it going. You're lighting the fire under my ass and I've already been running around for the past year. 
teasing people with my own shit, this even makes me want to go 8,000% harder. And that's what good, healthy competition should do, right? When you see great art, you don't get down and be like, damn, man, I'm never going to be able to do that. No, let it motivate you towards your own greatness, right? You sitting on your stories, you working on your shit, work on it some more. Keep refining it. Keep working on it. Then when you drop your shit, it's going to blow up. That's what we do. We know I want people to stop with the bullshit. I mean, I know it's not going to stop, but there's so many people that's just salty and mad and like, it's going to fail. He's an Uncle Tom. He's just trying to do this and it's just comic skate. Blah, blah, blah. This man is just taking his vision, linked up with people who can help bring his vision to life, went super ultra hard in the paint with it and now he's reaping the benefits of over a year's worth of built up anticipation why is that something to shit on why is that something to get mad at why is that something to to hope that it fails like why and they and of course people are like oh how are you gonna say it's great and you ain't got the book yet i don't know probably the same way you're saying it's gonna suck and you ain't got the book yet how about that but definitely keep your eye out for the review of ISOM issue one when it drops I'm going to do it it's gonna be great can't fucking wait let me know how you feeling about this are you hyped for ISOM are you hyped for the Ripperverse comics do you think that it's this all gonna be a bunch of smoke and mirrors do you think that we're getting too hyped too early you know be real you know tell me what you think in the comments let's have a good discussion about it but either way thank you for watching and listening I'm Animane I'll talk to y'all later and by the time this video goes live that shit gonna be past a billion dollars. Deuces.